The deputy president was answering questions in the National Council of Provinces. He was quizzed on South Africa's stance in the Russia-Ukraine war as well as the cause of the conflict. The expansion of NATO, the aggression of uh, NATO, uh, and the response from the Russian Federation. We think there's a possibility of opening a platform where we can mediate, where the parties can talk and resolve their, their problems. But some opposition parties are critical of South Africa's alleged bias towards Russia in the conflict. South Africa's export to and from Russia and its political allies totaled 15.7 billion. But with the 30 NATO countries, the number came to 1.13 trillion. Our economy is contracting and unemployment is skyrocketing. Why are we sacrificing our economy for the ANC alliances? Western and NATO countries might impose sanctions against South Africa on that view. Will you continue to hold this stance even if the possibility exists that sanctions might be imposed against South Africa? thus placing the stance of the ANC above that of the country. But Mabuza maintains South Africa has an open-door policy and will initiate talks with the Ukraine president, just like the telephone call by President Cyril Ramaphosa to the Russian president. We are cooperating together in the platform called BRICS. That does not mean that uh, we are blind to the situation that is obtaining now between the conflict that has arisen between Russia and Ukraine. In that conflict, we are calling for mediation, we are calling for diplomacy. We have not decided to take any side. Meanwhile, the deputy president has denied that the water quality in the country has deteriorated, causing a typhoid outbreak. He also fielded questions on the slow progress in settling outstanding land claims. Mabuza says this will cost 65 billion rand, and this is unaffordable under the current fiscal climate. The deputy president was also questioned on the ongoing confrontation between locals and foreign nationals, and he has called for calm. The department has, in terms of the Immigration Act, developed capacity and systems to track, trace, and repatriate all undocumented migrants who might have entered South Africa illegally. Mabuza insists that all those who were involved in corruption like state capture will be prosecuted. Ulilani Philip, SAPC News, Parliament.